Hey sweetie, so is everyone doing? Welcome back to Diva Caramel's channel and yes, I have no makeup on and the reason is because I'm going to be doing like a spa kind of facial for you guys today. Okay, so I promote makeup and stuff on this channel and I also, it's not only about a beautiful makeup application, it's also about taking care of your face, taking care of your skin. Yeah, so I wanted to come today and do like a DIY facial for you guys. And okay, so obviously during the weeks and stuff like that, you cleanse your face every day when you apply your makeup, you cleanse your face. But I believe that once or twice a month, you should do like an in depth cleanse. Okay, so that's kind of like what I do. I try to do that twice a month. If I don't get to do it twice, I at least do it once a month. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys. I'm going to show you all the products that I use. I'm going to show you the steps. And in some cases, they may not be talking, but you will obviously see my see what I'm doing in the video. Okay, so I'm going to kind of take the steps that what you would get if you actually went to a spa. Okay, and so you don't necessarily have to go to a spa you can purchase your products and do your little at home facials yeah um and they make your skin feel so good i'm telling you is is really nice you, you know your skin feels really nice after so yeah i'm gonna show you the products i use and then i'm gonna do the start the procedure so if you want to see that, please stay watching. I'm sure it will be helpful to some of you guys. Okay, so firstly, you want to start off by removing all the makeup. I don't have any makeup, but if you have all makeup, you want to start by removing all the makeup. This is a Clarins um, Gentle Eye Makeup Remover, but it's very good, so I use it all over my face. Okay, after that, you want to cleanse your face. And at present, I'm using the matte gel, the matte green gel cleanser. That's my cleanser I'm currently using. And, and after you cleanse your face, you want to exfoliate your face. And right now, I'm using St. Ives Blemish Control. Yeah. And I mix that with the clean and clear blackhead eraser. So I mix these two together, yeah. And everybody know this because like, there's a cleaner, but mine is almost gone. Yeah. So I really, really like this one, but I mix the two, and so far so good. Then after that, I use a mask. And this is the Queen Helen um, Great Seed Extract Peel Off Mask. Okay, so I'm going to use that in the process as well. And then after all that, I'm going to tone the skin using this simple um, facial toner. Okay. And after a tone and everything, I'm going to use Ole Complete um, All Day UV Moisturizer. And it has an SPF of 15 yeah and this is almost gone too i have to repurchase another one but i i love this i use this um before my makeup application yeah this is a nice moisturizer to use before you apply your makeup but i have a combination skin some parts are oily some parts are dry so so far that has been working well for me Okay. I also forgot to mention you're gonna need um, some clean towels. Okay, you could probably have about two, yeah, and some cotton wool and a and a facial sponge. Okay. So although I don't have on any makeup, I will still use the makeup remover. And I'm sure you will still see dirt on the on the um cotton wool. Oh, I'm almost shamed to show. <laughs> I'm almost shamed to show you. Okay, so yeah, so 
so now with my hands and make sure your hands are clean I will use the about a quarter size or so of the matte green gel cleanser and I would you know rub that together and starting at my neck using sweeping motions and always try to use sweeping motions going up not down because if you use going down it will pull down your face okay so you always use sweeping motions going up you can also use circular motions after you have applied the cleanser to really get it work work clean to the skin after you have applied the sweeping motions and it's completely all over your face then you can use circular motions all over the face okay so after yeah. you have applied your cleanser you can get your damp sponge and you start with your forehead okay and remove the cleanser and in at the neck okay so after you have um, cleanse your face and remove the cleanser with some warm water you're gonna wet a towel with some really hot boiling water let it cool for a little bit and then steam the face for about a minute or so so that's what I'm gonna do now okay Okay, so we've completed the steaming of the face and that would have opened up your pores. So now it's time to exfoliate the skin. So you exfoliate the skin using circular motions um, for about two minutes or so. Okay, sweetie. Okay, so I know this looks scary, but as you can see, it left out the eyes because the eyes are very um, soft and gentle. So for the exfoliating, you can leave out the eyes, okay? So after you have um, exfoliated the skin for about two minutes or so, and I can feel it tingling and feeling so good. Oh, I love it. So you use fresh warm water and remove, and remove the scrub, the facial scrub, okay? So I'm going to do that. And as you have seen, I also like to exfoliate my lips, okay? There. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Just don't eat it. <laughs> okay, so after you remove the facial scrub off your face, um, usually in the spa they will probably give you a massage, a facial massage using massage cream, but I usually skip that step okay so the next step after that would be to apply your facial mask okay so that's what I'm gonna do okay so this, so this is the facial mask I'm using and it's before I told you it's the Queen Helen grapeseed extract and it's a peel off mask and what it does is it cleans clogged pores soften facial lines soothes and tones skin okay that's the purpose of this particular one so I'm going to apply this and you usually leave it on for about 10 minutes, yeah, and then remove it. So I'll do that now. And usually you will apply from the neck and apply on half your face, apply from your neck and apply on the other half of your face. You don't have to do it like that, but that's how it was taught. So here goes. I got it too close to my eyes and it's kind of stinging me. Oh, okay. Okay, so you apply a generous amount all over your face, um, leaving out your eyes, your eyebrows, and your hairline. Okay, yes, yeah, so. You let that sit for about 10 minutes and then 
we will start to peel it off from the net and come up okay so let it stick for 10 minutes Oh, the gunk. <laughs> it's a bit messy, but I don't mind. <laughs> so you will peel it off, and what you don't, and obviously you're not going to get off everything. So then you just use the facial sponge as I keep showing you and you completely remove the remaining mass okay so that's what I'll do now okay so you completely remove the mass the mass is completely off and then we use the toner and tone our skin you can pat dry your face and then use the toner and tone our skin So if you don't have a toner, you have an astringent or a freshener, you know, you can use that as well. But I use the simple toner. Okay? And you apply that all over your skin. Okay, so you let that toner dry in and stuff. And you apply the moisturizer. And that's your final step. Okay? Okay, so that's the moisturizer. And I just take it and I warm it up a bit in my hand. And I apply it to my face. Okay, sweeties. And after you have moisturized your skin and you have completed all your steps, it's just a little extra thing I like to do because I just love to feel it on my skin. I use Max Charge Water. And I'm almost out because I kind of abuse this. I don't even have to be using makeup. I just take it and I mix my face. And it feels so good. So good, so good, so good. Whew. I just love it. So although I have not applied makeup, I just mix my face sometimes. And just let it work in there. And it feels so good. Okay, so that's it ladies that's it for all the steps i do on my diy facial at home and trust me it takes an hour or so but your face is gonna love you for it okay your face is gonna love you for it after you have done all those steps it's like your face is singing to you it's like singing hallelujah <laughs> no kidding it just feels so revived and so soft and so fresh and so clean you know I can't get explained it's something you have to feel okay yeah so um, it's not just about the pretty makeup on the face you also have to care your skin you have to cleanse your skin tone your skin exfoliate your skin all that good stuff okay so I hope that this video it was a requested video from one of my sweeties and I hope that this have helped her and also whoever watched the video to do their own facial facials at home you know and yeah that's basically it but you can also check me out on Instagram it's the diva caramel there and yeah if you haven't subscribed to this channel as yet please do so and um, there's a lot of information here going on it's not only fashion and stuff is also education of the hair education of the skin and stuff like that yes yeah, so the products that you use you don't have to use these products because there are a lot of other good products on the market that work this is fine but these are the ones that I currently use and so far um, they are going well I think after the great seed extract I'm gonna try a different one but Queen Helen she has a lot of different types um, they have a lot of different toners, a lot of different exfoliators, a lot of different um, moisturizers. You just choose. And it's according to, to the type of skin you have. Plus, some people have dry skin, some people have oily skin, some people have combination skin. So you have to choose the products according to the type of skin you have or else it's not going to work for you. Okay? Yeah. So 
thanks again for watching and i hope that you have enjoyed my facial spa and subscribe like comment any questions you feel to ask please leave them in the down bar yeah so that's it thanks very much bye sweeties Mwah.